Have you ever wondered how did we know what fatty acids make up our cooking oil? In oil samples, like cooking oil, coconut oil, olive oil, and corn oil, fatty acids are contained in triglyceride molecules. Hydrolysis of triglycerides will result in glycerol and three fatty acids. Initially, triglycerides or fatty acids have a high boiling point, which makes them unable to be analyzed using gas chromatography. Therefore, using the derivatization technique, triglycerides, which are esters, are converted into individual methyl esters with lower boiling points. Then, the fatty acids contained in the sample can be represented by the methyl esters. In this video, we are going to explain to you how to determine the composition of fatty acid in an oil sample using an instrument, gas chromatography, mass spectrometer, or GCMS. The principle of this method is, triglycerides in the sample are converted into methyl esters by using methanolic sodium hydroxide with the help of heat and a boron trifluoride as catalyst. Then, the methyl esters were extracted using hexane and analyzed using GC. The composition of fatty acid can be determined by using the calculation of peak area in the chromatogram. Lastly, the interpretation of the mass spectrum from MS can be used to determine the component contained in the sample. In derivatization process, First, add 4 drops of oil into a COD tube using a dropping pipette. Add 2 ml of 1 molar methanolic sodium hydroxide using a serological pipette. Close the lid, but not too tight, to prevent bumping. And heat it in a water bath until it turns colorless. Don't forget to shake the tube occasionally. Next, add 3 ml of boron trifluoride using a measuring cylinder. And don't forget to add it inside the fume hood. Close the lid, but not too tight, and heat it in a water bath until 70 to 80 degrees Celsius and hold it for 10 minutes, and don't forget to shake the tube occasionally. Next, for the extraction process, cool the tube until room temperature and add 3 ml of hexane using a serological pipette. Close the lid tightly and strongly shake the tube until there are two faces separated without emulsions in between. Then. Transfer the top face or the hexane into a colorless file for GC using a dropping pipette. And don't forget to rinse the file first with the solution. On the instrument, before we start the software, open the gas valve and set the gas flow valve until the required flow rate is reached. Turn on GC and MS, then turn on the computer. Open the GC MS real time analysis and log in. After this step, Make sure that the vacuum control and the tuning system have been done. For making methods, click top, then data acquisition. On the acquisition tab, open the GC tab and set the required parameters. Next, open the MS tab and set the required parameters. Save the method by first click Acquisition and download the initial parameter. Then click File, click Save Method File As, and name it. Then save your file as a method. For making batch, open the Batch Table tab by clicking Top, then Batch Processing. Fill up file hashtags with the number of slots we put our file on the auto sampler slots. Then fill up the sample name and the ID. For analysis type, select IT for integrations for quantitative and QT for quantitative calculation. Connect our previous method file to the method file column by clicking the little arrow icon and select our method. On data file, click the little arrow icon and name our data then save it in our desired location. Next, 
set injection volume to 1. For the report file, select the report file template that has been made. For example, in this video, we are using main report as the template located on the desktop. For the tuning file, select the newest tuning file located on the desktop. Lastly, don't forget to delete the extra row on the table. Save the batch file by clicking File, Save Batch File As, and save it on the desired location as a batch file. To start the measurement, block the entire table, then click Start on the left side of the screen. After this, the auto sampler will begin to inject the sample into the instrument to start the separation process. We can see the time and temperature on the little screen in the GC instrument. The temperature indicates the oven temperature, and the time shows the retention time and the remain time. For the interpretation, after the process ended, it is time for us to see and print the data. Open the data file that we saved earlier in making batch station. Click Pick Integration for all the ICs, and the Qualitative Parameters window will open. On the Pick Integration tab, Select Auto, Height, and set the hashtag of Peaks to 10, then click OK. Next, click Qualitative Table to open the window. On the Qualitative Table window, open the TIC tab, select All Tables, right-click, and select Register to Spectrum Process Table. Then, open the Spectrum Process tab, select All Tables, right-click, and select Search All Table. After we get all the names of the components from the library or the database, we need to interpret the components with the odd names and replace them with the more common name. To do this, double-click on one in the event column beside the desired component, and then the similarity search result window will pop out. Select the desired name by giving it a checklist and clicking Copy Mark Compound Name to the Spectrum Process table. In order to pick the name, we need to consider the retention time of the component. For example, metal oleate usually has a retention time of 14.7-ish. So if we have a component with an odd name with 14.7-ish of retention time that has metal oleate listed on the similarity search result, that component is most likely to be metal oleate. And don't forget that the more you go down to the list, the less similarity it has with the component. So prioritize the upper list first. Next, after we finished with the interpretation, click Report and change the sample info with our identity. We can also change the size of our chromatogram and mass spectrum in this tab. Then, to print the data, click Print, select the printer, then click OK. Calculation From the chromatogram, we can calculate the concentration of each methyl esters components by using the formula. Percent area is equal to the area of component per total area times 100%, which leads to the following results. MS Spectrum Interpretation MS detector will give us data of mass spectrum that we can interpret using its fragmentation pattern. Conclusion From the calculation, we can conclude that lauric acid from methyl laureate is the dominant fatty acid in coconut oil with a percent area of 39.66%. Then, linoleic acid from methyl linoleate is the dominant fatty acid in corn oil with a percent area of 47.3%. Thanks for watching and have a nice day!